go, boys. These three teams are on their own Route 66. Road trip! Road trip! They're high on hijinks, <laughs> but low on cash. We gotta eat. And they're hungry. You guys ready for the Dine and Dash? I'll say that. Oh. All right, Lucille's Roadhouse. That's the next stop. Dine and Dash! Dine and Dash! Dine and Dash! Dine and Dash! Dine and dash. Oh! Lucille's Roadhouse. It's been here since 1927, but until now, they've never seen anything like What Would You Do? So come on inside. Let's see what we find. What will people here do when three broke road trippers sit down and dash, gentlemen? Leave our waitress stuck with the tab. Where'd they go? It's a classic road trip, all right? It's a classic restaurant. We're on Route 66. We only get to do this once, right? I just got my license. I'm ready to go. But, well, like, how do we go about this? So he'll say he's going to the bathroom. I'll just pretend like I'm going to get something from the car. And then when no one's looking, you just go. Our waitress, who of course is an actress, brings a check. Here's your check. That the boys can't cash. We're not paying for this. We can't. We have no money. All right, ready? 30 seconds. The other diners just watch them leave. They left. What do you mean? As in out the door. I can't believe this. All right, we're rolling again. What are these? Corn nuggets. I threw them on the house for you guys. Oh. Eh, taking care of you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Wow, dude, she's so nice. And then we're gonna steal from her? Listen, all right, here's a plan. You're gonna go first. I'm gonna videotape it, because this is like YouTube-worthy kind of stuff. Is it recording? Yes. Okay, cool. What they record, let's go, is another clean getaway. <laughs> What? Oh my god. I'm gonna be in so much trouble. We'll pay for it. Don't worry about it. We got it. Are you serious? We'll pay it. Why would you do that for someone that you don't even know? Because that's wrong. You don't you don't do that. Actually, hi, we're paying for it. I'm John Quinones, and it's What Would You Do, the TV show. <laughs> How you doing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just thought I'd be nice for that girl. Yeah. I feel so bad for her. So far, no one has confronted our dashers directly. Nobody got up and ran. That's right. Shame on us. But what if we change our actors' race? Now we bring Odysseus, Jasper, and Michael along for the ride. What do you think people will do? You ordered like food for ten people. So what? You don't pay to dine and dash. No, we can't just leave without paying. Yes, we can. All right, we eat and we run out of here. That's it. It's easy, man. Eat and run. Now this man wastes no time alerting the manager. Them three colored kids talking about dining and dashing. Hey, y'all don't forget where you're at. This ain't New York. Yo, this ain't New York. Let's get out of here. Where'd they go? They died in the past. It's unbelievable. Not really. <laughs> what did you tell them? I think they figured out maybe they shouldn't be messing with a white redneck in a restaurant full of white people. <laughs> yeah. In Weatherford, Oklahoma. Just call the cops. They'll catch up to them. I mean, you can't miss three colored kids. One of them got a big old afro. And now he can't miss our cameras either. I'm John Quinones. You're a newsman. Now yeah, why are you yeah. all sitting with me? Because we're doing a show about kids who dine and dash. Oh, dude. <laughs> Come on, man. You didn't like what they were doing. No. We don't like that kind of stuff out here. We're simple. But you kind of put them in their place, right? You said. I tried. And beyond that, you couldn't do any more. Oh, I couldn't go sit on them. I mean, they're not my kids. I couldn't tie them up. If these had been white kids doing this... I'd have done the same thing. Yeah. 
I don't care what color their skin is. The guys leave our waitress holding the tab once again. So they just ran out? Yeah. And this man rushes in to help in record time. Really? Thank you so much. I'm sorry. You don't Turns out his rescue reflex was refined at the rodeo. We grew up rodeoing, and uh, you never rodeo alone. I think there needs to be more of that, you know? When you learn to you look know, out for each other. Exactly. You always got to have somebody help pull your rope. You always got to help have somebody help you get your steer loaded. All right, we're about to roll it one more time. It's a rite of passage. You have to do this. We're only 16 once. No one's going to stop us, OK? And they're right. No one stops them. Let's go. See you later. See you, See you later. But watch now as the entire restaurant rallies around our swindled waitress. Thank you. She winds up with more than double the boy's tab. How much is it? 20, 40, 150. So say it with me. Guys, I have a confession to make. I want to give you your money back because the television show on ABC, What Would You Do with John Kenyonis, he's right there. Hey, guys. <laughs> How you doing? You never thought we'd be here. No, Weatherford? <laughs> you took up a collection of sorts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I felt bad for it. That was yeah. Terrible. What does that say about the folks from Oklahoma? <laughs> Our good folks. It's a great state. Hi guys, John Quinones here. Thanks so much for checking out our YouTube channel. There's so much more to see. So click on this red button down here, the one that says subscribe, and you won't miss another What Would You Do moment. Enjoy.